Once upon a time, there was a young girl, and she lived in an ivory tower. And in this ivory tower were many people, and they read many books. <laughs> and they would read these many books, and they would write to one another on pieces of wood pulp paper, <laughs> spattered with much ink. And they would say how good or bad, or how accurate or inaccurate, or how long or short, or wonderful or not wonderful, these books were. <laughs> And then one day, after she had read many, many, many books, she ventured out from this ivory tower and found other people. And they read many books, too. <laughs> and they also wrote to one another on wood pulp paper about these books. And this was called fandom. <laughs> and she grew to like many of the people in this fandom. And she hung out with them. And while she was hanging out with this, <laughs> she was sitting on the couch of one of her friends, and she looked up on the wall across from the couch, and there were two swords and two shields. And she said to her friend, What do you do with those? <laughs> they said, We fight with them. And she said, Oh, how wonderful. And they talked for a bit, and she went home. And on the way home, she thought, Wouldn't it be wonderful if we could have a tournament, just as in days of old? Men could fight for the honor of their lady, and they would have a grand tournament and show honor, and the lady could be crowned queen of the day, and this would just be a wonderful thing. I wonder where we could do such a thing. And as she was thinking this, and as she arrived home, she looked out into her backyard, and she thought, we could have it here. We could have a tournament right here in my own very backyard. And then she went into the house. And she talked to her friends, one of whom owned the house. And she said, I have an idea. Talk me out of it. <laughs> they also got excited by her idea. And they thought of many, many things they could do, like have a wonderful feast after the, after the tournament. And they thought, oh, this will be just grand. And they printed up many, 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 many pieces of wood pulp paper. And <laughs> much ink upon it, declaring how, on the 1st of May, there would be a grand tourney for the honor of a lady. And the lady would become queen of the May. And all oh, it was to start it at noon, 12 o'clock sharp it was. So they put this in many places, in the halls of the ivory tower, and in the many shops that the people from Phantom went to. <laughs> and at the appointed hour, with much anticipation, the girl came out to the back door and looked out in her yard, and no one was there. <laughs> and so she went back into her house. And then, for some reason, about a half an hour later, she looked out the back door, and there were 50 people. <laughs> <laughs> and with much joy and celebration, they began the great tourney, and much honor was shown, and it was a wonderful time, and the winner, lady, was crowned queen of the May, and then they had a wonderful feast, which included much fried chicken. <laughs> and then afterward, they retired back into the house, and she sat, thinking about the day, and how wonderful it had all been. And she thought, you know, I did it. We had this tournament. I had this idea, put on this tournament, and it was grand and wonderful, and the last medieval tournament was not in the 1800s. It was today, 1966. Mm -hmm. And no matter what else happens after this, I'll be able to tell my grandchildren that I put on a medieval tournament. And then, the young man sitting next to her said, next time, I'm going to hit him like this. 